Rhonda from Melanda Craft and today I'm going to talk to you about Mylar polyester film and how you can use this in your embroidery projects. I was introduced to Mylar by my daughter-in-law, my very talented daughter-in-law Stacy, and this is a design that she has stitched out using Mylar. Now Mylar is a polyester film and you may also know it as foil gift wrap. So it comes in a variety of colours, and you can see we've got a few here. This is not the full range by any stretch of the imagination. It's a lovely rainbow, there's clear, copper, purple, and red. And if you want a silver, you simply take a piece and turn it over and use the silver side. We've also got a, a few examples here of designs that we've stitched out using Mylar. So there's the lovely butterflies, which would look great on a little girl's bag. This is the witch's feet in the cauldron. You can see this has been done with purple with purple thread on top, gives it more depth. And this is a sample that we've done. And again, you can see the depth when you use the same colour on the coloured, same coloured mylar. So let's get started and show you how to do this. So this is what we're going to stitch out, only I'm just going to use the rainbow uh, mylar, which means I don't have to have all, all the different mylar colours on it. So when it comes to a stop, I'll simply just start the machine again. So as you can see, uh, we've stitched out the outline. Now normally we'd place a different coloured mylar in each of these sections, but today I'm just going to use the rainbow, my rainbow mylar. Just going to pop that on there. Bring this down. Now you can find, if you do a Google search, you can find specific patterns for mylar, because it needs an open pattern, not a very dense embroidery pattern. Okay, so we're all set to go. Just keep an eye on it as you go around, I'll just cut that thread a bit closer. Okay, so now the design is finished, I'm going to remove it from the machine and I'll show you what to do next. So here we are with our finished piece, I'm just going to remove it from the hoop. Okay, now the mylar will tear away quite easily around your stitching. Pull it, make sure that you pull it in towards the design, don't pull it away from the design. Otherwise you end up with little taggy bits everywhere that you've got to try and remove. This way it comes away nicely and cleanly. Okay. Use um, cut away. I've actually used a tear away in this one, but do you cut away gives it a nice firm background. So there you go. As you see, I used a contrasting thread and just the rainbow mylar. Still looks quite effective. 
you do get more depth if you use the same colour as your mylar. So yes, so there you go. There's another little project for you to do and uh, happy stitching.